Hi guys, it's me again with another video. This time it's with my Z4. This is 2.5 2004 E85 BMW. So this is a convertible and what I'm doing today is I'm changing the oil in the differential. This car has a lot of uh, kilometers on the odometer so I was thinking that it was time to change all the fluids and what better way to start than in your diff. So this particular car is now almost 15 years old and it has 280,000 kilometers on the clock so a lot of kilometers I'm not sure when the oil was changed in the differential for the last time so it's better to be safe and just change the oil so as you can see I already have the car jacked up uh, I have my trusty Chinese 3 ton uh, floor jack which is very low profile which is a very useful thing if you have BMWs because they are very low to the ground so you can just slide that jack underneath the car and lift it up as you can see I already have everything in place so I have my floor jacks here or jack stands actually and I have a couple of pieces of wood which I will need to make everything uh, work and work safely and of course I have my toolbox here and a couple of uh, stuff I will need so of course I have my new differential oil this is a 75W90 uh, this is BMW spec so it should be good I'm not sure about the brand I know that this is a OM brand but I don't know if they make their own oils but I don't know I trust this brand it's German made so it should be good next I have a piece of PVC tubing this is approximately 8 millimeters in diameter and we're going to need that to put in the new oil and I've also bought this very handy small oil pump uh, which I will be using to pump the oil through the tube into the differential you can do that by hand but uh, it's a bit hard because it's a thick oil so this will make everything easier first you have to remove this aluminium splash plate which is located underneath the rear frame and it's only attached with a couple of uh, 10 millimeter bolts on the edges and when you remove that you will gain access to the rear differential and if I go underneath the car I can show you the situation as you can see I have my wooden blocks here underneath uh, the rear wheels so this is my safety so in case the floor jack fails I will be uh, sort of safe so always make sure you are extra careful when working underneath the car as you can see I have the floor jack mounting point or lifting point here on this rear subframe so this is the strong part here and that's where you can uh, support the whole weight of the car and it's the best way to jack it up and then if I go here I can see my filling plug here and my drain plug over there so in this case this is a 14 millimeter allen bit and it's quite large make sure you have it before you start the job and as you can see you have a kind of an awkward angle here so this is our stabilizing bar here and it is a bit uh, cramped here there isn't a lot of space so if you leave the car a bit more this part here kind of sways out of the way and that can 
gives you uh, a bit more space. So when you're doing this, make sure you first remove the filling plug and then you release the drain plug. Otherwise, it can happen that you can remove the drain plug and drain the oil, but later you find out that you cannot remove this uh, oil fill plug and then you'll have a lot of problems on your hands. So I'm going to try and remove the bolts yeah this time it goes easy because i have already untainted it so yeah now you have to <laughs> wiggle it with your fingers and rotate it and unscrew the plug so i'm going to do that now i'm going to drain the oil and then i'm going to show you how to put back fresh oil Well, that looks kind of nice. I was expecting much, much worse. So I would say that the oil in the diff was changed, uh, but you know, better to be safe than sorry. So now I'm going to let it drain and then I'm going to put back the plug and start putting back the new oil. Okay, so we've left the oil to drain. Now we can put back the plug. Okay, uh, I have the oil drained and the drain plug uh, tightened up. And now what I can do is use this PVC hose and I insert it through the fill plug and then I'm going to use this oil pump to pump in the new oil. Now I already have the most of the oil in Make sure you have more than one liter of oil, so I would say 1.2 uh, because you will lose a bit of oil and so it's better to have a couple of uh, milliliters of extra oil. So uh, to fill to the right level you have to level the car up and fill the oil until it starts dripping through the plug and so I'm going to pump the oil in slowly and wait for it to start dripping out And the oil is dripping out so I know it's full I'm going to remove the hose and lower the car to the right level so I'm going to remove the wooden blocks and lower it down 
and just let the excess oil to drain out and then I'm going to put back the plug. Okay, I have everything put back together. So thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos like this and see you in the next video.